Alright guys, welcome to the Let's Talk Video Games Podcast by Acornhead Gaming. Introducing your guests, I am Yusuf, your host, and I'm joined by David. What's up guys, Kalpi here. Michael. Hello, hello. And Justin. Yeah, what's good, hot dogs and rice, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what is this podcast about? Uh, we're just going to be talking about video games, pretty much just winging it the whole time. We're also going to cover some news, so if you guys want to bring in like a news article or whatever, we can like talk about that. Uh, don't worry about it for today. I brought one of my own that I'm kind of uh, worried about, actually. It's kind of a worrying article How so? uh, in the gaming sphere. Oh, you'll have to see when it comes. Uh, it's regarding E3. I don't know if you guys heard anything about E3. E3 no. E3, E3 no. next year? Next year. Yeah, I heard any leaked documents about E3 from next yeah, year? Leaked documents. No. What, oh, what yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. scary. Okay, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Um, so also, uh, we'll have another segment where I just tweet out any questions and topics people want answered. I actually tweeted out this morning. We got two replies, so we're going to go over some uh, some of our fans wanted us to talk about, which nice. is cool already. Nice. Yeah, yeah I'm, surpri- I'm surprised fans. we actually got fans already. It's crazy. All, all 10 of you guys. All 10 of you guys. Yeah, I know. I'm watching out for you, 10 of you guys. So what's Acornhead Gaming? We're like a gaming brand we all created. We're just a bunch of college-age kids who love playing video games. Exactly. Yeah, we grew up playing probably an unhealthy amount of video games. I think we can agree with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So we just want to share our passion and uh, perspectives. So we post video game reviews, previews, opinions on our website. That's acornhead.net. And we're also on YouTube if you like videos instead. And now we're adding a podcast there. So you can subscribe on our website and follow us on Twitter at acornheadg. So first off, we're just going to try to get to know uh, some of our guests here. So David, I I tailored these questions specifically for everyone just because I know everyone has different tastes. But uh, So what's your favorite video game console? Because I know you have a collection of... Literally every video game console in existence. Yeah, that's like, true. That's not uh, a joke. That's not a joke. Like I'm looking at like a hundred consoles on the shelf here right now. <laughs> yeah, quite a yep. bit. That's years and years of collecting. Um, my favorite console. That's a very tough question. Like, there's so many. Like, wh- which one? Res- like, which one? Like, you just look at it, it makes you smile the most. You know. <laughs> which um, one resonates with you? Exactly. That's well put. I'm about to say the GameCube. Because like looking back at the library, it's like. It's probably, like, the most, like, well-rounded system in terms of games. Not only, like, locally, but, like, like single-player as well. How do you define well-rounded? Um, just, like, good variety between, like, like single-player and, like, multiplayer. Like, when, when you guys come to my house, what's the most system we play? It's, like, Nintendo, right? Nintendo systems, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, so the local true. experience. I like, can agree. Best memories on GameCube. Good point, good point. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And so, like, what, what's your favorite game on the GameCube? So, like, um, if you could choose a single game from there. I have to say Time Splitters too. Time Splitters, fair enough. Great series, great series. Underrated too, actually. Uh, very very underrated. underrated. Yeah. Um. All right, now this one's from Michael. So I know you play a lot of League of Legends. Yes, yes, I is, do. Is this true? I do enjoy League of Legends. You can confirm. So who is your favorite champion in League of Legends? Kha'Zix. And why is that? What makes him so appealing to you? Because he is an AD assassin. I prefer assassin playstyles because I enjoy just going in and getting out real quick. Going in, delete, uh, delete the champion, and then leave. Instantly 5v4, put our team into the uh, good position for a team fight, making it easier for us to win. He likes to go I, in I and him. out very quick. <laughs> we can all confirm. Do, do we I all hear that? Confirm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get in. A lot of physical damage too. He's AD. <laughs> no magic. Oh my god. I burst. Yes, yes. Uh, Michael, that's good. Good to hear. Yeah, I'm glad you like to go in and out very quick. Yes, uh, yes. I'm, f- I'm glad you found a champion that suits your uh, style. Is it your style, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, Justin, this one's for you. What's, What's your uh, one rep max on the bench press? My Ooh. one rep. Yo, actually, so this was in the summer. Uh, I actually dislocated my shoulder. It was pretty fucked up. So I was actually shoulder pressing one time. I was just in fit for less, you know, doing my shit. Uh, I had some 75 pound dumbbells in my hands, you know, and as I was going down for my last rep, you know, I had to to do a little grunt, you know, uh, and then, but at the same time, my wrist just gave out and fuck, (laughs) man, my dumbbell just went behind my arm, and my shit was just hanging there for at least three minutes. My arm was just dangling the goddamn, <laughs> I don't know, string cheese, but you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, that really fucked up my PR for my bench and uh, really all my exercises, but I guess right now, my PR is just 285. That's the last time I hit just... Damn. Yeah. 
What a beast, eh? Yeah, I'm, ta- I'm taking I never knew you dislocated your shoulder. That's wild. Yeah. It was <laughs> like, I never knew that up. happened. It was pretty fucked up. That is crazy. Okay, that's good. That's good. So now let's jump into the games. Now you know a little bit more about your hosts uh, or your guests here on the podcast. So one game we've all been playing, at least a little bit of, is Minecraft. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, we started our own server. Uh, we're just fooling around on it. We haven't played in, like, a long time, I'd say. Like, Minecraft kind of just came back, I feel like. Yeah. Like, after the Fortnite craze, it just kind of, like, came up and just overtook Fortnite as one Honestly, of the bigger like, games. I think, like, PewDiePie contributed a lot of that influence. Uh, yeah. He's been playing uh, quite a bit recently. Oh, has he? Yes. Oh, videos. really? Oh, so no. I mean, the guy's 100 mil subscribers. Yeah. He's got, gonna get out there. He's got a bit of influence on, exactly. on him. Yeah, I think it was, But I heard that's still like the most played game in the world. Is that true? <laughs> Minecraft? Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Even with like Fortnite stuff. So. Yeah. No, because it just I believe it. it. It's I most believe user it. friendly. Yeah, it's user friendly. It's not very like competitive, so there's not. What do really, your brothers like, play? You have two younger brothers? Curve. They play Minecraft or no? Yeah, one of them plays Minecraft. Oh yeah? Oh you mean Little Little? Yeah. Oh they both love Minecraft. Oh yeah. They both play on PS4. Damn. They play Minecraft and Fortnite, the two games. And then actually, do you guys know the black hole that happened? Yeah, Fortnite? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, actually... so, like, I just found out what happened, like, like yesterday, was it? And then, like, I'm like, yo, guess what? Like, there's a black hole in Fortnite. You guys can never play again. They're like, you're lying, you're lying. And they go turn it <laughs> on, there's, like, a black hole, and they're, like, crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh, it came back today, though, luckily. Yes, but, like, ob- obviously. Obvi- like, who thought it was actually gone forever? But, like, yeah, that was funny. Oh, when man. When do you guys think it's going to come back, the map? And oh, it, do you think there's going to be... It, oh, it did? It did. Oh, it did. Yes, Is there a new map? Today. Yep, new map. Brand new map? Yep. Really? Yes. Yeah. Brand new. Today as of October 10th. Has anybody here 15th. played it or not? 15th. I, I saw uh, this morning on Twitter. I saw it. That's, that's oh, all I know. It? Yeah, I was on yes, Twitter. Yeah, it has a completely new map. Oh. It has a few old uh, areas still within it, but majority of like about 80% of the map, 80, 85% of the map is completely What different. do they keep? Do you know? They kept Retail Row, Salty Springs, uh, Pleasant Pleasant Parks, and I think that's it. So the classic Everything. ones. Yeah, when was like the last the cla- time they classic, classic. changed the map before this? I mean, they update it every season. There's yeah. always like Dude, new what areas. Some, like, but when was the stuff. last season? Do you guys know? Season ten. So season 10. the the whole point of the black hole is to restart like a new chapter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So like since it's been like I think well, has it been a year since Fortnite? Oh, I feel like it's been more than that. It's gonna be more than that. So I guess since after yeah. chat season ten, they didn't want to go to season eleven. So I mean, they did this event. Yeah, it's like an anniversary event, I guess. Black hole, reset everything. Yeah, it's crazy. Give it a new paint, a coat, coat of paint, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm just taking in that, like, the, the, when, when during the black hole event, there was, like, these Twitter, like, sentimental videos going around with, like, sad music and shit, and, like, people walking through all, like, the classic places in Fortnite and be like, RIP Fortnite, like, God. and then, like, they went through retail and Pleasant, me and brother watching it together, and, like, he was, like, crying, he's like, oh my God, I missed that, because, like, he played for like hundreds of hours, right? So like, I'm sure you have too, Michael. I'm yeah, like, I've spent a lot of time. Yeah, playing Justin, you did too, right? Um, honestly, only until season six I really played, and then I pretty much stopped. I uh, sort of lost interest of the game, and uh, I didn't really have the time because everyone's pretty advanced. Yeah, I don't know. Some people, they, I don't know, they play religiously. They just like, build <laughs> yes. and shit. You see, I don't know. I'm chilling with a, a little hut. You know, people got six foot. You know. Sorry, not six foot. Six story mm-hmm. towers. I don't know. <laughs> they are here so building much. mansions. Yeah, speaking in of that, seconds. like I, I was with like like Mickey downtown, right? So anybody doesn't know Mickey, that's uh that's the camera guy, let's say, right? Yeah, he's the yeah, camera guy. Camera, camera guy. guy. So like I was watching this kid playing Fortnite on his iPad. This guy was a unbelievable beast. Man, these kids are <laughs> fucking crazy. I swear on my life. Imagine a guy and they're like, t- can you use a controller or no? Is that like touchpad? I think it's just on touchpad. iPad. Yeah. No, it's t- he was using it's a touch, touch control. Unbelievable. That's I swear. crazy. That's nuts. This kid was actually going like insane. It's crazy. No, but like even Fortnite now is completely different from when it started. Because when it started, nobody really knew how to play the game. So like just, that was when it was most fun to me. It's like yeah. when no one knew how no to play. Knew, no one knew what was meta. Nobody knew what to do. So everybody was just kind of just going around having fun. And if you won, it was like it was exciting. Yeah. Now, now it's like if you don't know how to ramp push like like two by two, three. Uh, like, like I don't know what you're saying. Uh, like two by, like, like a nice two by four. <laughs> like, not I don't know what you're four. talking about. Two by about. two, like a one by one hut. If you can't build that like within a second, like you're kind of at a major disadvantage. Well, that's crazy to me. You can't like, defend yourself yeah. nowadays. Everybody knows how to build compared to that to season one, season two, where nobody builds. Everybody just running around 
one shot, one pumping people with the shotgun. Yeah, that was crazy. That, that's that's pump, what I like. The pumping. double pump meta. <laughs> God, that was a nightmare. Sorry, guys, I would uh, but... contribute, but I'm not a big Fortnite guy. <laughs> no, that's sorry, fair, honestly. No, no this yes. Is, like, it's not for everyone. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that's kind of the point and why I feel Fortnite's not going to last too much longer. I understand this kind of made it a little bit of resurgence, but it's getting to the point where the skill cap is too not not too high but it's the learning curve it's yeah it's plateaued at this point and you can't really get too much better it's just kind of understanding how the game works and then hoping rng's on your side wait why is there rng i forgot are you talking the about the circle, aiming the circle like where you oh like, the, where circle you are, stuff. the loot you get it's oh like true yeah i didn't you think of that fucked. like some guy will get a gold pump a scar and you'll get the great pistol like, okay oh, yeah. i mean oh, yeah, yeah you can still good. win you can still win the fight but like good luck he has to land two shots, maybe. You have to land five, four or five shots. Yeah, I know that's... Inherent disadvantage. So, did the black hole have any effect on the Twitch? Do you guys know? Because I, I, I don't watch Twitch. Like, the, on like, Twitch? Yeah, uh, like viewers. In terms of viewers. Uh, I, th I well, thought it was the most viewed event on Twitch ever. It was like four hole? million. Yeah, really? like ever on Twitch. It was like four million four viewers. Million? I don't yeah. know, it didn't. What? It didn't get four million, It was like two it? or four million. I was reading an article on Twitter. Like total views, probably. No, like at the same, like concurrent. At concurrent views? Yeah, yeah. I, it was, no, it was, there's no way. I'm going to Google this right now because I remember reading an article saying it was the. Believe. Yeah, I found that hard to believe. At okay. All. For but was it like a countdown for like the. Uh, no, they had a, a stream up while the black hole was active. Oh. Because no, you couldn't play the game. Yeah. So they had it up and people were just waiting, seeing when, when it would come back. So is this 2 million like when it first started? Is that what you're saying? Sorry, what were you saying? Was it 2 million what, like when it first happened? I think so. Let me. I'm. I'm trying to pull up the uh, site right here. So that's true. That's fucking unreal. Okay. Let's see. I'm on Forbes.com. Uh. Oh, I can't find it. Well, I, I read know. It, I know. It was a lot, though. I remember I read was, it on Twitter. I know it's it's been a lot, and a yeah. lot of people just had it on, just waiting to see what would happen, because you would it'd just be easier to have the stream up rather than have the game. The game open. open. Yeah. 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 No, I, I can't find. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I could be mistaken, but I remember it was some crazy in the millions. Yeah, no, but whatever. A yeah, a lot I thought of it was, people. It did. It, it was, did it was huge. Everybody. Like you wanted to go play Fortnite over the weekend. Like nope. Yeah, it's I, been deleted. Yeah, I found it funny that it, like lined up with our Thanksgiving. Oh, the black hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. in Canada, at least it was like. Yeah. Yeah, you kids. Like now it's time for you to, um, <laughs> you know, have a life and not play <laughs> yeah. Fortnite. You know, like spend time with your family. Spend time with the family. Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah, that's that's Fortnite. Um. Oh yeah, what were we talking about before Fortnite? Oh yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft. Oh yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, totally <laughs> forgot, about, yeah, totally forgot about that. <laughs> forgot about that. Oh yeah, so we started our server. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Justin got our cute little farm. He's got a tree house. I got my little house. Oh yeah. So f with Fortnite coming back, yeah, I think it was PewDiePie, right? That brought it back. Yeah, it brought I feel like he was the main guy. Minecraft, yeah. Yeah, he like kind of brought. It. Do you think Microsoft paid him off? Like kind of off topic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I doubt it, but you know. <laughs> like, yo, you here's a million know. dollars. Like start playing Fort or start playing Minecraft. Honestly, when you're famous and you have lots of influence, you could get money for anything. Yeah, you right. Yeah, that's true. Like, I feel like you don't play games for free when you're famous. Yeah. So like if you want, if you're playing a game, you're only playing it because you're paid to do it. True. Like, that's just how I feel. I don't know if that's true. He's, he's too big at this point. Yeah. Anything he does is just gonna. He's, a, he's the second grand, biggest guy on so YouTube. No. Popularity. Yeah, basically the biggest guy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah what's, the, what's the some Indian channel or some shit? Yeah, yeah, two series. Yeah, two series. Yeah. Yeah, technically, <laughs> it's bigger, but you know. Yeah, know, it doesn't have that same impact as PewDiePie does. Yeah, like as a single individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A single person, one person. That's PewDiePie crazy. One one guy having that if I'm many correct. subscribers. Like, that's he, unreal. He has like so much influence on like the landscape of gaming as a whole. I yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, like. This is like a perfect example. Like we all started playing Minecraft indirectly. Yeah. Like because he started playing it. I didn't watch his videos, but like, yeah, like the hype built up, mm -hmm. and then I like bought into the hype, got a server, and like we're all playing it because of him. Yeah. Whether like I watch his videos or not, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Very indirect, but still yeah. an impact. Yeah, it's been having. I've been having a lot of fun with that. I, I almost I built the train station by the way. I don't oh, know. you did? Yeah, I connected your house like nice. to a train nice. to ours. Yeah. I still need to fix my house. <laughs> yeah. I stop. Stop with the fall da damage. David fell twice. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's all your stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I've already fallen like four or five times building it. <laughs> Remember, I was like wrecking your brother's shit in his house. <laughs> I was like destroying shit. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's um. You know, building a base at the top of a mountain. It may not be the best starting home. Yeah, my brother did the same thing. He died a bunch of times too. And he quit and then he joined it a couple days later. Like he quit the whole server and then he came back <laughs> just because he fell off and died. Yeah. So yeah, Minecraft, uh, buy into the hype. You guys should play it, definitely. I think. 
I it think, is enjoyable. It yeah, is enjoyable. especially like even I guess you could play solo, but even with some friends, it's just like a lot I, more fun. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot more fun with yeah. with friends. Like playing by yourself, you can like learn a lot, but like if you want to like have fun, like just play with your friends, like straight Honestly, up. See, I'm a I'm a pretty competitive person in the in terms of gaming and the verse, I should say. Uh, but when it comes to Minecraft, you know, it's time to wind down. You know. Yeah, this is after I beat Joseph in Smash like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Funny Sorry, guy. buddy. Funny guy. <laughs> Anyways, man, this guy. Sorry, this guy got me a little cheese right now. Last time I won, you know, David, I'm coming for you rematch. You know, I'm coming for your head top. Watch out. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I lost my switch. I came in play Smash. Unfortunately. Yikes. How do you lose a console? You'll find it. You'll find it. Yeah, that's that's, that's actually crazy. <laughs> Finds a way. I'll find it. Don't worry. Usually, you know, like y'all lost my DS. That, that's reasonable, you know. Like a DS is like kind of small. <laughs> it was fucking huge. Yikes. I actually lost my uh, original Xbox. Well, you're lying. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna. It's like huge. Can you imagine losing it? God, I lost my CRT TV somewhere. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> where did it Yo, go? I, I lost my house, guys. I can't find it. <laughs> oh God. Oh wait, you didn't beat Final Fantasy VII, did you? Nope. Oh. I'm, I'm the last boss. That's good. We still talk a little are. bit about it. You guys haven't played it, have you? You too? No, I, I've never played uh, Final Fantasy. Are you watching? I've that, never played is that anything. Pornhub Live? Did I hear Pornhub Live? No, I would uh, never do that. Okay, yeah, no, especially not on podcasts, man. You know, like... What, how Pornhub, does it go again? if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Pornhub sponsor us, please? Yeah, we'll take a sponsorship. Hey, you know what? We could do um, uh, Pornhub Live uh, ads, you know, just in the beginning of our podcast. You know, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> like, I mean, I wouldn't be against it. I think it's not a bad idea. No, it's pretty it, good. It, it could find our endeavors, you know? Spread awareness. Good yeah, marketing. yeah. Well, just, maybe uh, get some females in uh, in the podcast as well. You know, we want to have a, a diverse <laughs> representative of. Economy. This is true. This is true. So, we got to be more diverse. For sure. So I feel like that would be a good option. So so yeah, porn up, uh, at porn up, hit us up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah so if you're listening to this yeah tweet at Pornhub uh, try to get our sponsored yeah, we'd appreciate it a lot I think yeah let's get sponsored guys mm-hmm. yeah great uh, what were we talking about Final Fantasy 7 oh yeah you guys didn't play it right no, no, I've, no. Never, I've never played Almost I've never sir. played have you any seen Final it? Fantasy have you seen it I like I've clouds I've seen a little bit you know you yeah, go up yeah. in the sky I, you know, <laughs> I, see, uh, I see a dinosaur but you know, next thing I see a roller coaster you know so I like clouds it's whatever <laughs> you like, don't you play a lot of cloud and smash though yeah, Cl- Cloud and Smash. Yeah, that's cool yes. too. No, uh, and he still lost, but you know it's okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy's still damn motherfucker. So, so yeah, yeah, I've been playing the game. You know, uh, yeah, you played it. It's How pretty it like, like unreal because, like, especially with a game that old, it yeah. like really caught my attention. Just like the story arc and like like the environments. So it's you, like you think it still holds up. Yeah, hundred percent still holds up. But like, you really need like a lot of time to play. Yeah, it's like a, it's a big RPG. See, I play an emulator. I like speed that shit up, right? Because I have no, I don't have, like the patience. Yeah, yeah. But like you know, yeah, it still holds up, hundred percent. That's, that's that, good. If I may interject, yeah. that is probably my biggest reason why I'm probably not going to play that game. Yeah. It's the main reason, eh? not not that it's time consuming, is that the too grind, soon. the grind is not what I want to do. That was Michael, the uh, ex RuneScape player. Yes. What, 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 what's exactly. your uh, total level in RuneScape? I don't remember. But <laughs> uh, I'm super chop done. These trees with uh, grindy games. <laughs> I cannot stand them anymore. But do you guys like turn-based though? No, and that no? is another reason. There's only one turn-based game that I've ever found enjoyable, and that's XCOM 2. Mainly because XCOM. it is very difficult. It is oh, actually true. a very difficult game. Yeah, you were safe scumming it. I was, yeah. yeah that's I true. had to. Yeah, I was actually playing There's a legit. No and then way. you told me like you beat it. I'm like, how'd you beat it? He's like, oh yeah, I was safe scumming it. There's no way I could have ever beaten that without safe scumming. Yeah. Like one misstep and your team just dies. Your whole team, like you'll lose one key member yeah. and then just like shit. Yeah, you got sad though, now right? What? <laughs> you now what? I just, lost, I just lost Dale, my shotgun guy. And he's just like dead. permadeath. He's permadeath. Yeah. Like, can you get him gone. back or no? Like I didn't get that far. If you can, if you save them, but like chances are if they die, they're going to be taken, like, their position's going to be taken. So, like, you have to push through mm. the enemy enemy lines and push y- your own character, your other characters into even shittier positions. So, if you try to save them, you may yeah, lose another true. one. And then you lose them all. Like, shit. There there goes my whole team. <laughs> yeah, like, X- XCOM's different than Final Fantasy in that, like, it's like a tactics game. It's not just yeah. turn-based, but, like, mm. you got to move your guys around, right? Yeah. Final Fantasy VII is more is there like... Is a story in XCOM? Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, sure. it's not, like, prominent. Yeah, it's not like, like Final it's Fantasy. It's not like the main like no, main thing, no, right? no. It's more. So the you strategy. played Final Fantasy. What did you think so far? Seven. Yeah, I'm. I'm not off the first disc yet. I'm playing. 
not emulating it. I'm playing original. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah. I agree. It's a bit. It's a bit tough. Yeah. But I, I think it's just a little bit time consuming. Like, I don't mind get like. You're complaining about like you know it's too like grindy, right? Yeah. I don't mind that. I actually enjoy like grinding, getting my XP up, like getting new weapons, I, and like just like stomping on like the characters that are like the uh, like the fights is getting like destroyed in. And then oh, just, yeah. like, when you level up and just like slap them in like two shots, you kind of like. See, I, it I, feels I, nice. Okay, so I I agree with your point there, but not in the term of this kind of game. Wait, what Due do you mean? The fact that you're repeat repeating like okay, Dark Souls. Yeah. That I agree with that because Dark Souls whoa, makes whoa, you feel whoa, like we'll that. We'll get to that topic. We'll, we'll, yeah, what if it's not Final Fantasy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll save that for a bit. <laughs> so like, like I give like a lot of credit to anybody who played it on like the original PS One, because like it's so time time consuming and like some parts of the game like it's, it's so difficult to like actually beat that en enemy. So you got to go all the way back to like the original save. You know what I mean? So oh, like, say, yeah. say you die and then your last save is like so far behind. Well, See where emulators you're just on like an emulator. You can save. Yeah, save shit. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like people who played it back in the day. Like, wow. Well, yeah, I crazy. mean, a uh, workaround is cycling through your saves, but that takes up a lot yeah. of space. That's yeah. the only problem with that. Yeah. Plus, another thing is, um, back in the day, they didn't like have modern consoles, so they didn't know. You know what I mean? Like they didn't know no better. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's like how life was back then. Yeah. Like it wasn't. It wasn't any better back then. Yeah. That's... Yeah. So anybody who wants to play the game, like I recommend uh, emulation. So yeah, right. emulation. Uh, I'm still gonna try to beat it, like, like oh, if I have time. It's it's very time consuming. Yeah. I've just playing a lot of Minecraft. Just too much Minecraft on the server. Just building shit. It's just fun. But yeah. Fair. Yeah. So uh, we have to go to the next game, which I think you two are experts on. Mm -hmm. And take it away. You know what it is. What right. are you two experts on? Think about it. What what game have you is, have days played in? Days. I'm assuming League of Legends. Yes. yes. Fifty six days for me. I I don't even know. It doesn't How do work. You count? For, I can't count There's my a account. I, it There's doesn't a... work because since I've changed my name, it resets the timer. Oh, oh really? really? It does. Yes. Well, so can you look I up your old? We have over like fucking hundred days. Holy yeah, shit! That's actually I, that's crazy. Crazy. post name change. Yeah, I've I've name changed like three or four times, and the amount of time I I don't remember what, but it's it's still fairly I high. I not even know that. But it it does totally reset. About that. <laughs> that's great. That's so wait, can you search up your old names account. or no? Yeah, no, I thought so too. But like, uh, when I checked Tino's, like he had like way more than me, and we played basically the exact, the exact same, same like yeah. amount. It, like, it doesn't make any sense, but like I changed my name a bunch of times, so that's the only thing. I also checked Ryan's, and he has nothing, because he's changed his name a million times. Yeah. He always changes the name. Okay, that's right. Yeah, Dave's like sneaking at the, uh, looking at the, seeing what questions are going to pop up. Yeah, there. look at the new questions, because like, <laughs> sorry guys, I don't, I don't play League either, no, so. No, no, no. <laughs> Can't really not, discuss. Not a, not a competitive gamer. Yeah, yeah, so, well, well only okay, you play hundreds of days, like that's insane to me, that's like a nice amount of your life, and uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, Michael, you've played probably days as well. Yeah, probably. So similar. I also have played probably days. I don't know how many days, but a couple days at least, like for sure in my lifetime. Yeah. I come back every year and like play like a couple days, you know? It's just because... What keeps you in it consistently? Because I, I don't stay in consistently. Uh, I mean, I'm not really consistent. I play for like a few months and then I take like a few months off. True, true. That always, that always happens. But I, I, I don't know. It just Wait, how you, like how you held in that long? Like how does what keeps you like in there? Like I, I, I'm in it, but then like I just see the ceiling and how good people are, and I just like I'll never get there. Like what keeps yeah, you in no, it? I, I understand that. It's just because for for a fairly somewhat basic seeming game, like your main goal is just to destroy the enemy base and win. But there's just so many different like variables, and it causes like many games to be like almost Unique. completely different. Yeah, like, every game is different. Game. True. Yeah. Actually, Granted, there are like a few like outliers. Like, <laughs> sometimes if your assassin gets fed, like shit, like oh, it's and you're AD carry, you're just you're just gonna die. Like you're gonna go in a fight, and then you're gonna die. Get you assassinated have nothing to do. every time. So it it is a frustrating, but it's also a very rewarding game, and that's so, uh, that's why I feel like I've just been it with it for so long. I mean, I've been playing it since high school. In like what how many years now like oh, yeah. almost Honestly, eight, eight like years eight, yeah. i feel like we've all played it since high school except yeah. david yeah. I, i've been playing since... i've been playing smash for 10 at least <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's like season two is when i started really playing i played season one but like i i played it and then i hated it and then like i put it down for like a few months and then season two came out and then Wait, I when did that. season one come out like how like, old were we that was in grade nine Oh, okay, so I play season one as well. Yeah. Damn, so I'm an OG. Yeah. Right? Should give me like a like a fucking like I remember playing Garen on Twisted Tree Line. Yeah. And Force of Nature. I um, <laughs> Warmogs. You know that jazz. I Edge. 
The only memory I have of I had, was... I had Garen. Yeah. It was actually so fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, and then I really... I, I remember, yeah, first match was Garen, and then I stopped for a bit. And I remember playing Kha'Zix. Play and Kha'Zix. Oh, yes. Jacob's and that's when I really... Mm-hmm. When I started playing, playing religiously, whatever, high school days... You already know I already main I mainly sin, so that was my favorite champ. I, I love you still main him? Yeah. Oh damn, that's dedication right there. Lee Sin and, and uh Unreal. Lee Sin and Yasuo. <laughs> my, my my favorite characters because I like to go in as well. But I like to tear that shit up. So I stay in that shit. <laughs> Michael jumping out, I just tear that shit yeah, up. Mike, Michael likes to go in and out very in fast, out but you like to stay in it, eh? <laughs> I just stay in and I do damage. That's what that's what my role is. That's what I like to do. Uh, that's good, that's good. Um so th- is that what, what keeps you in the game though? Like why you, what you like you beats me? Like, you're always in it. Like I see you 24 at seven, like 18 days a year, or sorry, 365 days, days, year, days yes. a year. And I'm you're still in, in it, gold. Bro. Sometime. I'll, sometime I'll, <laughs> 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 That's a yikes. <yikes-y. laughs> I literally have a thousand matches in ranked this season. That is fucked up. Well, each that match is, is like an hour, right? Crazy. That is 1,000 times 40 minutes. So let's break that down. That's 40,000 hours. Holy shit. Like, oh, not hours. Sorry, minutes. 40,000? Yeah, 4,000. Oh, no, 40,000. Yeah, 40,000. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. It's okay. We're not going to make you do math. You can just, like, estimate, you know? Yeah, Yeah, no. Round it up. A a lot of hours. (laughs) And that's not even counting, like, the menus, too. Like, you just stay idle in the menu? Yeah. Not even that. That's games only. That's in game. In game only. Yeah. That's actually crazy. Yeah, that's unreal, right? Yeah, no, I've played a lot. Unbelievable. And he's still gold. Oh, my God. I'm still gold. It's okay. We're making it plat this season. Yeah, you two are on a mission to go to plat, I heard. That's what I've seen on the streets. Yeah, no, honestly, it's been a struggle because uh, we've had those days where we just honestly, we carry so many teams, Yeah, but then they can't do shit, so it's it's 5v5, yeah. it's a team game, mm-hmm. you know, everyone has to participate and at least do something in order to contribute, you know, you want to kill that nexus, right? Yeah. But everyone has their own motives. You can't solo carry every game. You also have trolls. You have, yes. uh You got ragers. You got rage quitters. Mm-hmm. You got <laughs> fuckers. That's it. <laughs> wait, wait. You got so, brain dead teammates. You guys are making this game sound so bad. <laughs> 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 Not that. I think that's like you just got ragers. You got quitters. <laughs> like. <laughs> no, it's only frustrating because when you want to climb, and you just you just think, okay, ranked is purposely for you play people with your skill level. And you try to advance. Mm-hmm. You play ga- you, characters you're good with, you yeah. know, characters you're com- confident that you can do well with, you know? Exactly. And when people sort of interfere with your advancement, like, it just sort of fucks you up. And you get frustrated, and uh, you want to play Minecraft, you want to build, so, build a train track. I got a good question. Like, <laughs> going back to the like the Fortnite question about, like, the skill cap and how, like, the game might not last. Like, why, why do you think it's not the case for League? Do you guys know? League is a more calculated, I, yeah. I, I guess. Like, uh, man, it's more RNG when you play Fortnite. Yeah, RNG. I think more League is just there's more variables, but yeah. not like random variables. Like, oh, okay. you know, Fortnite. You know, the the gold scar versus the gray pistol. You know, like, oh, okay. Just, okay. Like, that's a serious yeah. disadvantage. Yeah. But like, uh, League, there's just like there's five different roles and the, like different styles you can play in those roles. And also, okay. correct me if I'm All wrong, but things. doesn't Fortnite not have like your skill-based matchmaking doesn't match you up with random people. In League, you can match around people who are, like, as good as you. I'm pretty sure for just, like, casual games, not, like, arena yeah, no, yeah, stuff like Yeah, no, yeah, because there's that. arena mode in Fortnite, and then yeah. there's just normal. How's the balancing, though, in League, in terms of the champions? <laughs> it's champions? summer it's shit sub- for months. For honestly, <laughs> really? it's, it's yeah, very so, subjective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But for a hundred and like fifty champs, I don't know how many. It's it's hard to balance. Yeah, it's yeah. very there's, hard. But it is also very. I think they did a pretty decent job. It like, it's man. it's it works for the most part because obviously if let's say you're an eighty carry main, which is like a full damage, low survivability kind of character, any any other character that does like high damage burst, like Kha'Zix, like the character I enjoy playing, like an assassin, they're always gonna seem OP to that kind of player. Because there's nothing they can really do against them. So it just becomes like a different point of view. Like, a Riven main's gonna hate fucking, what, like a Teemo? Like a Teemo <laughs> main. He's gonna be a piece of shit. Well, a lot of Teemos. Oh, just yeah. A pain in the ass. But like, people like that, like, it just, it's subjective and it's hard to balance because of that. What about Singe? Who do Singe, Singe players hate? Uh, anything that's really good at kiting. 
Um, Actually, I think Cinch, pe- Cinch people hate Timo too. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody hates Timo. No, honestly, Timo yeah, Singe not like anyone. Like I'm taking in. Like when I play League and I play Singe, like I didn't care about anyone. You really don't. It's because yeah. like, you're so tanky. You can't, but yeah. you can't do anything. You know what I mean? You just walk around. <laughs> they can like hit around. you for an hour. You just walk around. You know, like walk around, get poisoned. You yeah, know? get poisoned, Die. And kill them. Don't yeah. taste them. David, any comments? Yeah, David has no Sorry, idea guys. what we're talking about. I don't play <laughs> League. I'm just sitting here, just waiting for the next off. No offense. But yeah, no league. League is fun, but it's frustrating. It's high highs, low lows. Fair that's enough. a good way to describe it. Yeah, yeah. So before we get into our uh, next, actually, no, wait, one more game I want to talk about. I totally forgot. Whoa, what was the game? I know. Uh, I think you know it. I think okay, you. I think, you, right, I, think right. you, I think you can see it right here. I don't know how oh, well Spider-Man. you know it. How well do you know it? Not that well. Spider-Man, actually. Spider-Man. I see, I've seen. I've been seeing Justin play a lot. Yeah, you. You. you how many? When did we get it? Or when did you get it? Two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. No. You've fifty percent done already, Justin. Two days ago, um, I've only played at least uh, maybe six hours into the game, and honestly, I I feel like Spider Man. Does, does this game really make you Spider Man like, like Spider Man? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I do feel really immersed. Oh, perfect. Uh, it was it was very good uh, for six hours that I played so far, um, especially just when you're even exploring just open roam, uh, lots of. Lots of interactives, like you could just like let even ledge jumping, just perching on like the highest building, just jumping off, you know, just do random shit. But honestly, that's just me as a casual gamer speaking, and I feel as an experience, it's pretty. I'm uh, pretty good. Sorry, buddy. Looks like Sony has that studio away. Eh? Not yeah. for Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe you guys don't know I'm a big Xbox guy, but Insomniac. Boo. Yeah. Yikes. Ooh. What does everyone hate Xbox? I don't get it. I just don't <laughs> like it. You don't yeah, have to hate like on it. You can just you can just not like it, but you don't have to hate on it. You know. Well, I don't like it, so I'm just uh, expressing my uh, intentions and telling your distaste. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go into that topic? What next generation? What do you guys think Xbox needs to do to, to like win it? to like even compete with Sony? At yeah, this point? I feel like I'm not even trying to. They, they, they can't compete at this point. You know. Yeah, no. I know. They need they need IPs like they need yeah, like yeah. they need like na- hit, like hard hitting games. But they do, they they acquired so many studios and they're all gonna come out with games next gen, right? Yeah, but that 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 has to be good and they have to like at last. I mean, I'm kind of confident. Maybe I don't. Uh, maybe it's, I'm I naive. Mean, they got, but I'm they confident got rare, in studios. But like, what has rare done since? See, since see, they, they have a lot of IPs because of like rare. Like, if you look at like down the list, like FPS wise, they got Halo. Racing, Forza, RTS, Age of Empires. Like, they, they got some genres that are, like, filled, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, they have the top of each genre, I think, for certain yeah, games. Yeah, for, for certain, Like, absolutely. Forza is kind of, like, the gold, right, of Forza's, racing. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I got, I'm not too into racing, racing games. I think, I, I I think it took over knowledge. Gran Turismo, like, this gen. Oh, yeah, Gr- like, Gran Turismo used to, because I feel like Gran Turismo used to be, like, a tech demo, kind of. Yeah, it wasn't, like, a fully fleshed out, like, racing game. I'm like, not it was sure. a good game, but it was just, like, it was all about the looks look of pretty. it. Yeah, yeah it looked pretty, like, show off the tech. Yeah, but... I like Gran Turismo Sport too, but uh, yeah, X- yeah, you're right. Xbox just needs other IPs, but I think Game Pass is also like a huge, huge, huge thing. Win? Maybe yeah. it's just me. I-, I agree with you. The only problem is it Game Pass is available on Xbox and PC, which yeah. is wow, that's great. Yeah, it's good. Anybody that plays PC, that that sounds amazing. But then when you look at the catalog for PC, it's it's not very good. Yeah, not not. But consider the price Compa- like, compared along, right? to yeah. Compared to the Xbox catalog, Xbox catalog is way a million times better yeah. than yeah. the, 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 the yeah. PC catalog. Next gen will catch up though, because next gen they're going to be releasing all the games on PC as well, right? Like all Windows, first, Windows I, I is really still their market, so. right? Yeah, I, I really hope so because there's there's no real games. I mean, they have Gears, Gears, Gears of War. Gears that's 5, okay. Yeah. yeah, you played a little bit. I, right? I played. I've yeah. played all the Gears actually, but uh, actually all of them except for four and like Judgment. I think is that even a Gears game? Does that count? Judgment? Judgment? It's like a spinoff game. No, but does that even count? I, I guess not. Maybe not. <laughs> or is but, it like Halo Reach where it has to count? Like, I, think, like, I, I think Game Pass is going to be good when uh, MCC comes. Yeah, Master yeah, Chief yeah, Collection yeah. on PC. That's a, that's a rot. Yeah. Like, I, I it's coming to that. Steam too. That's crazy. Oh, it's coming yeah, it's coming on Steam. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Once it, once it becomes part of the PC lineup, that I mean, for the price, you can't go wrong. 100% yeah, can't the, go pri- wrong. the price is very good. Yeah. But like, how long is it going to stay that way? That's a good point because they're eventually yeah. gonna want to like take they're, the Netflix it, role and like increase it, at some increasing point. it. Yeah, yeah. Because I got three years for a dollar. Like, how's yeah. that? How's that feasible? That, that's, that's, that's actually that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> I know that's crazy, right? Uh, you're just giving games away. Wait, so Justin, you don't have it, eh? No. So what would make you like get it? What would make me get it? 
Well, how much do you know about Game Pass in the first place? Because I feel like David, you, yeah. you said earlier that you, they don't do very good at marketing like this. No, thing. like if you go, if you look at the Xbox Store, it says nineteen ninety nine with Game Pass. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like if, for like an average person looking at like the UI on the Xbox, you would think a, a Game Pass is just like a uh, like a, a discount. Discount. Yeah. discount. I don't understand how like they, they, they miss that. Yeah, and just to I, clarify, David's saying that like it's it's nineteen dollars or you can get it for free on Game Pass. Yes. Is what they what it actually is. Yes. But the way they display it is what? It's like it's like a discount essentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Sh- yeah. I, I agree because I never would have known about it if you guys haven't told about it, told me. Yeah, because it's huge. It's I huge. never would have. Like, I never would have heard. But, it, I never I'm wondering because like we follow like the industry, right? Like does, does like the average person like like know about Game Pass? I feel, I feel like, like Michael's Michael's more than the me. average person. Yeah. But we, but we told him because because we, we like look at gaming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, how bad was their marketing that we had to tell yeah. Michael? Who oh is yeah, a gamer? exactly. Yeah, I look at stuff. Yeah, I wasn't aware until you guys told me as well. So, but then again, they that's why I don't even have Game Pass. So, but then again, they didn't have an Xbox. But now like since it's on PC. So maybe maybe I, mean, more I, feel people they're, know. I feel like they're gonna bring up the marketing next gen because right now they're kind of like okay we lost the gen we'll we'll take our beating let's just like put yeah, our nose down regroup. get some games out yeah like start building up our infrastructure Game Pass is a really good service they're just gonna slowly add more games to it like that Metro Exodus which is like a pretty brand new game on there like yeah they have I, a th- couple good games good, yeah yeah but they're they're really gonna gear up for next gen I think that's just my opinion and then uh, once Ma- Master Chief Collection comes out we're all gonna play Halo for sure yes. yeah hundred percent will. 100%. 100%. We gotta play multiplayer, man. Yeah. Trying to get a fucking Warthog and just go, like, capture the flag, man. That's the <laughs> funnest shit ever. Valhalla? Justin, you getting it? Halo? Nope. Wait, why not? Ooh. Uh, I'm not really a Halo player. I'm a Call of Duty player. Ooh. Yes. I agree with that. Wait, you can be both, though. No one's stopping you. Yeah, I know, but uh, I just... I was more drawn towards uh, Call of Duty. That's why I, I didn't really have the experience that you guys had. No, but hold on, hold on. What, what yeah, you... I know what a Warthog is. Warthog, uh, you, you, you ride one of those, yeah? It's, a, it's like a jeep. It's like a jeep with a gun on the back. A little jeep with a gun. Are you guys not like sick of COD though? So like the same oh, thing. <laughs> oh no, Christ. Felt, like that's why I don't even play it anymore. Uh, sometimes just like just zombies maybe, or you know the uh, fuck the occasional mods, whatever. Oh yeah, like uh, custom yeah. zombies. Yeah, yeah. But cool. Halo has it. Halo, Halo, Halo has, has it built in. Yeah. You can build your own maps and game modes and code yeah. in the that, game. That is what I think. Halo that's is the, the best peak of Halo. That, yeah. that is the best part of Halo. Yeah, I, I agree. I've always agreed with that, and I yeah. always like that about Halo. It's just the competitive part of Halo is just not for me. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't really care about the competitive because I've never been a competitive Halo player. I've always been like a Forge custom games type guy. Yeah, it's and like fun. a campaign guy. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I understand that, and I agree with yeah. that because when I had yeah. an Xbox 360, I only had, I never got live. I only yeah. used like the, yeah. the seven day trials, or whatever I got with yeah, the games. Same. <laughs> And when I got Halo Reach, I played I played online for a little bit. And I'm like, okay, that's not me. Yeah, and then I and then I looked at Forge, like all yeah. the maps and all the shit you could do. It's like it's crazy. Yeah, did you ever play uh, the Duck Hunt one, or was one guy the sniper and everyone was like yellow ducks? I, I've never played it, but I have seen it. it yeah. Was, it was yeah, there's so many funny ones, man. It's crazy. You do that with a bunch of friends, just like fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Justin, I'm telling you, just pay one dollar for Game Pass and play it for a month. You'll be hooked. Oh, is it yeah. still available? Uh, is that one dollar for a month? Well, they always have discounts, so I'm sure. Yeah, you can. I'm sure, it'll be yeah, like your first month, I think, is a dollar always. Yeah, your first month will always be a dollar. So, like, you can make new accounts probably and like use a dollar every month. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So, like, make a different account. No, I actually probably would. Yeah, you just, honestly, dude, when it comes out, just like get, get the game pass and play with us. Like, you'll be hooked yeah. on custom games. It'll be crazy. No, I like uh, more sandboxy games. You like know, that's just, what it is. Just, just the fact that that you know you have that ability to like you know do whatever the fuck you want, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a lot of shit that people post too. You know. Yeah, they have good so, yeah. sharing too. Like you can find games. They have a custom games yeah, browser com- now. Compared to like Gary's mod, like it's, it's like way more flush out in Halo. Oh, yeah, Gary's which mod is, is which like is why bootleg. it's like really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely uh, less bootleg. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember like watching you play like, like, like I don't know. What, I don't know what's that? Uh, what's that uh, Trouble in the Terrace Town? No, not no, even Trouble in Terrace Town. It's not G mod. It's uh, Halo. Oh, okay. But it was like you were racing like up a up like this up like this hill, okay. and you were and, and then you were and shit, right? Yeah, like it was like, yeah, some, like, next it was like some next. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like shit falling down the hill. Yeah, yeah. So like one guy at the top who like knocks the shit down while you're trying to get to the top to win. It's like crazy. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's so many good game modes. There's like actual obstacle courses too. Oh yeah. Seen them where you like. There's like some next angles. Like some you have to do some next angles, jumps and stuff. Jumps. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like perfect yeah. timing. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Halo's a lot of fun. Halo's we definitely got to play it. Like at least a dollar for a month. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, even, yeah. like even even just like Minecraft. Like it's almost. Yeah. Like same same idea, right? You know, like, yeah. You're gonna have that experience, right? Especially with your boys. So. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? All right. So now we're gonna move on. We're done talking with games. I think. Any other games you guys want to talk about? Um. I guess we nope.
Justin was the only one who kind of played it yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Spider-Man was good. Spider-Man was yeah. good. Yeah. That's all I had to say. Oh, yeah, speaking of Yusuf, uh, what's up? What are you saying? How's, how's being a vegan? Oh yeah, it's a blast, man. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell the viewers, how long have you been uh, vegan now? Uh, probably two and a half years now. Two and a half years. That's yeah, two and a half. Yeah. Without no animal products, zero in the system. Zero, man. I'm blessed. Zero, 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 zero. Yeah, it's so All right, guys. Good. K- KFC sponsor us, please. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah, love KFC. Yeah, they get their vegan, ch- vegan chicken. Man. Yeah, if they get vegan chicken, I'm down. I know they do in the sis. Oh, in the states they do. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I, I want to try it. Because I, I had the chicken nuggets at your house, like they taste like pretty good. They're good, right? Yeah. So I feel like they could pull off KFC, right? Like it doesn't taste like like grease or nothing, which is really good. Oh yeah, like, they're, your, they're healthy, your right? Yeah. yeah. McNuggets, eh? Or uh. Yeah, McNuggets. no, I feel you. Well, wow, funny you guys said McNuggets. I actually have an article here that uh, it says vegan reports friends who fed her chicken nuggets oh, when she that. was drunk the article. to the police. So, um, what do you guys, what do you guys, uh, take on this? Uh, I know you said you're a strong believer of no... Alright, here's a question for you, and then, and then you can answer this question yourself, sure. okay? If, uh, if I fell asleep, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a Muslim. Yes. If you force-fed me pig while I was sleeping, or lied to me and told me it's like, beef, it's beef. Well, what should I have, what should I do? What, what, what's my, what's good recourse for me? Oh, yeah. Because my, my belief is just the same as her belief, it's just different, a different belief. Oh, yeah. That's true. So, like, what, like... Just like just because mine's a religion, hers is not like a religion. Doesn't me- make her values any different than mine. Exactly. So like, what I, I, I you answer the question well. then? So, well, I'm, I'm I'm saying like, how would you? Because I just wanted to say it because you're a vegan as well. Yeah, I'm saying if you right? did it to me, I probably I probably wouldn't call the police because I mean like. Yeah, no, police probably, is kind probably of mud. Ex- probably slap you, but like. <laughs> call the police. No, I, I'd understand <laughs> if you would be frustrated with me because that that is you know especially uh, in a Muslim state, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, you don't want that shit. Yeah, it's just not good. It's, it's for, for a purpose. purpose. You know, it's for a purpose. They don't eat pork for a purpose. So uh, That's true. That's true. Yeah. Same thing with uh, veganism. You know, people uh, want to fuel their, their body with uh, food that's going to be good for them. And it's created by this earth and nature. Not something that is man-made. To life. Yeah, but I want to uh, call the cops on my friends. I'd be a little bit pissed at them, but I wouldn't know. That's a bit extreme, right? Yeah. I'd, say yeah. I'd say that's a bit extreme. But man, if they made vegan chicken nuggets, that'd be good, right? Yeah, that'd be pretty. That'd good. be Don't fucking good. I'm sure they exist. vegan chicken. Are well, you kidding? Like, I, I'm in like maybe like a fast food chain, you know? Oh, yeah, okay. that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I feel that A and W's got to do it. A and W. Yeah, they should do it. Oh, yeah. vegan? Yeah, the, the, yeah they, they got their Beyond it. Me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they should have do you, it. Have you guys actually tried it? I've tried Which one? Beyond Me. I got a coupon. I have like dozens. I had so many. Online yeah. coupon. I've only tried the vegan burgers at your cottage. They're Sorry, like pretty good. Yeah. Like, Beyond is better than what you had at my cottage. Is it? Yeah. I never yeah. had that one. Yeah. yeah. I had, no, I had the Tim Hortons one actually. No, that's Beyond. Yeah. That's that's vegan. Yeah. Uh, it kind of tastes like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. I, no, I feel like the ones at Tim's weren't that good either. I had it. It tasted yeah. so dry. It was, yeah. At A and W is better. I don't know if they cook it differently, but at Tim's I felt like it was just stale. It was like sitting there. It's probably because like. It's like everything at ten. Yeah, yeah. That's Honestly, yeah. You gotta go to NW and try. Like it's like juicy. If you go to NW, yeah, it was juicy, right? Would you say, Michael? Well, honestly, yeah, I yeah. Mean, but NW, like for me, uh, the Beyond Meat, it was. Uh, I'd rather have meat. Yeah, but I agree. You know I mean, what? That's okay. Like, I, I still uh, I support anyone uh, who's a vegan, you know, or vegetarian, or whatever, because it is for a good cause. You know, it's uh, a lot of pollution nowadays from all these. Uh, all these meat eaters. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think, I think it guys, took over uh, transportation for the number one emitting like thing of greenhouse gases actually recently. Damn, damn. Yeah, it's like up there. So it's like, like I think one pound of beef takes fifteen hundred gallons of water. So fifteen hundred gallons, not that's liter cool. gallons. That's like that's a lot. Like ten thousand liters of, of water for one pound of beef. So like, is that for the like, you know, when you flush like the toilet? That's everything. Like oh, after your table. Oh, okay. When you flush yeah. the toilet, it's like two gallons. Yeah, so like imagine you can flush, flush your toilet, toilet fucking 750 times or eat one pound of beef. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. That that's comparison, that's if you nuts. think about it. Yeah, that's, that's yeah whatever. I'm not I'm not in this podcast to push my vegan agenda yet, but I will eventually one <laughs> yeah. day. Just not today. Oh, yeah. Speaking of saving the world. Um, <laughs> <Talk about> okay. <laughs> Another article. A turtle dies after washing up on a beach with 104 pieces of plastic in its stomach. That is disgusting. See what this world has come to, Yusuf? You know, this is why we should use bamboo straws. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That. There you go. Bamboo straws, bamboo chopsticks, whatever. A and W has uh, just bamboo forks. forks. Paper, oh, yeah. yeah, no forks at all. Uh, actually, in 2020, they're starting. That has to be like fully banned. Like yeah, single-use plastic. plastics are banned in Canada. 2020. 
Or Ontario or is it Canada? That's I, a good I'd, law. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good law. As long as everything is clean, you know, you know, because recycled stuff obviously comes from whatever. You don't know. But as long as it's clean, I'm cool with that. Wait, yeah. is that just for restaurants or like, or like, if I go buy like garbage bags? I don't know. No, it's got to be just for restaurants. Okay. Because how the fuck can you not buy garbage bags ever again? Uh, like a reusable garbage right. bag? Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. It's gotta oh, be for restaurants. Unless you, you just put it, it in like, the... a, like, a, like a blue, like, recycle. No, how do those zero waste guys do it? There's people out there that do like zero waste, right? They like, yeah. like, how do they do that? I don't know, it's a good question. Like, they don't even have a gar- I guess, I guess if they don't have any garbage, then they don't need a garbage bag, bag right? Or they just burn it. Unless you're like, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Zero waste. Zero waste. Oh, I thought you meant like, like, like reusable stuff. No, no, zero waste is like, you have zero waste at the end of the week, like no garbage, nothing. Oh, like zero, absolutely okay. zero. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah. I guess it has like, to be like all bananas. raw materials. All raw materials. That's crazy. I don't know. You just eat bananas and <laughs> just throw the banana peels in, in the woods. All right, there we go. Now we can move on. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into some of the news articles, uh, we're gonna break it up with some questions we got tweeted out at us for our first right, podcast. Right. This is from a tweet from at the platinum gra one. He asked, yeah, what up? Thanks for the tweet. Uh, what is your most prized trophy slash achievement in a video game? That is a good question. Right? I think that's a, very, a really good that's question. A very that's good an question. insightful question, you know? I don't know. Fuck. That's um, a very insightful question. All right. Yeah, David, I've, you can I've start I've only off. ever gotten one platinum. I guess that would be it. And that was in uh, WWE Legends of WrestleMania. <laughs> PS3. <laughs> that's the only time I ever got platinum trophy. So I'm guessing that's like mine. That's yours. That's your yeah. the one. Uh, I forget exactly what you had to do. I think it was like get like all the trophies. Yeah, platinum's every single trophy yeah, in the so, game. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. That's yeah. <laughs> Damn it, I don't have a single platinum. I, what? I did that for uh, God of War Three. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Is that your most proud achievement or yeah, a trophy? I'm most proud because I actually had an insane amount of hours on that game. It was so fun. God of War Three. It, it's probably my one of my uh, my favorite series. Just because Kratos is such a beast. You played the new PS4 one. Yeah. How was it? It was pretty good. I haven't played it throughout, though. Okay. I heard Ascension was shit, though. On PS3? Did you Ascension? play that one? Yeah, Ascension. Yeah, yeah it was alright. Uh, 3 mm-hmm. is my favorite, though. Yeah. By far. Yours as well, Michael, 3? Uh, out of, I've only played a little bit of 2. I played through all of 3 and, like, a quarter of 4. Fair. I, I am not a fan of 4. I, not not a bad game. Very good game, actually. But it's just not what I would wanted to play at the time, it's, so I just kind of dropped it. It's not what it. I expected. Like, I it, thought there'd be a lot more to it. To be yeah, honest. no, I, I, there is a lot to it. It's just not. It's not God of War three. They're yeah. completely different <laughs> yeah. games. And, Fair. And yeah. Coming coming from God of War three, it just kind of like turns you off a little bit. Yeah, yeah like the newest one's like a completely it's different like, brand new game. It's right? a very story driven game. Yeah. Nah, and, fair. Uh, they change up the recipe a lot, huh? It's yep. good in its Sony's, own way. Uh, third person cinematic experience. Yeah. It's all like a kind of a template. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do for Death Stranding, too. They're trying to make movies more cinematic just yeah. because they add more actors. You know, they, That's true. I they, didn't think of that, actually. Yeah. They, they add a lot of actors yeah. in uh, Death Stranding. They're trying to make Death sure like movies now. Because you think about it, everyone plays a video game once in their lives. And every like just like movies, video games are grossing as well. Are they making and, video games more lazy? Oh, yeah. I saw watch a lot more. Uh, they, have, they have that fucking setting for Death Stranding that are going to be for moviegoers. That you just like play play through it like a fucking movie. That's crazy. I heard the newest like... trailer played like in movies, like <laughs> in the, the cinema. Yeah, yeah, in, in the movies. That's crazy. Damn. I'm so confused. Games are evolving. I, yeah, now they're I, just I movies. Think, <laughs> I think that's good in one way, because I feel like video games are a very effective way of telling a story. This is true. Yep. This is true. Due to the fact that you're part like of the story, that you ha- you're making your own actions, you're part like you're taking part of it in it. Instead of just being a backseat, just watching, seeing what's happened compared to a movie. That's and true. I, I feel like yeah. you connect more that way through like Yeah, even like a superhero. Like we were just talking about before in Spider Man. You like, know, you feel like Peter Parker. <laughs> you feel, <laughs> like, feel, you feel like, like Spider Man. Oh man. You now you're really immersed because you're not only fighting crime, but you're talking to Aunt May, you know, seeing how the pie's doing. You know, how's it looking in the oven? <laughs> what? You know, I don't get that <laughs> reference. <laughs> No, I'm just making sure. Okay. <laughs> but honestly, like, when when there's a story behind a good... Or, sorry, when there's a good story behind a game, you you really feel immersed. Yeah, so God of War 3, that's yeah. your most, like... That's what I'm saying. Kratos mm-hmm. is a beast. Just the, just the whole storyline, how he's uh he's become Kratos, you know, from uh, just an ordinary Evolution. man to a fucking half-god, right? 
So same with Final Fantasy too. That's why I'm like staying with it because like the story's like like pretty unreal. Yeah, it's kind of like convoluted, but like like the characters, and everything is like it's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you grow attached to the characters yeah. very quickly. Even they look, they're like a couple polygons on each character, but like you still get so attached yeah. to them, which is so weird. I don't know yeah. how. Because like you feel they like leave. it's so unrealistic, but you still get attached to them. They they leave an impact which lasts. Yeah, for sure, than, for sure. Well, what about you, Michael? We didn't ask you. What's your honestly most prized trophy or achievement? I I can't say. I have gotten many many platinum. Trophies. Well, what's one that you're like? Wow, I'm proud of this one. Does it doesn't, have to, doesn't have to be I a platinum. Rem- honestly, I don't even remember. In Dark Souls, did you get platinum? No, no, I, oh. I never got platinum in Dark Souls. What's like a struggle you overcame and were like, wow, that's insane. How did I don't I do know that? one that I overcame, but I know one that I never overcame. Okay, and yeah. I'm one, I I'm question. one trophy. I'm one, one trophy away, away from getting platinum on Call of Duty World at War. Oh, yeah. Because of one mission that I just cannot beat on hardened difficulty. <laughs> uh, not hardened, on veteran. veteran. I just can't beat it, no matter well, how many times it? I've tried. It's a it's a stupid air mission where you're in a plane and you're just shooting planes, oh, other yeah. planes. And oh, I can't do it. The bomber it. one. But didn't I? Okay, didn't I? Didn't I get you guys platinum in that game when I hacked the PS3? Remember the automatic platinum? I feel like I got I never, platinum in World of War. That was never for World of War for me. It was. No, I swear, like I, I got, got Mickey that. platinum in that because I hacked, hacked PS3 back in the day. I swear, I got you platinum. Right? I thought I got platinum in World of War. Actually, now that you mentioned it, was that, that. because of, like the hacked PS3? Yeah, it's got Because, like, be. if you play, like, with me as a host and, like, my PS3's hacked, like, you automatically get all the trophies. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that no, was I, it. I never got that. Oh, you never got that? No. Oh, rest I'm in peace. one trophy away in World at War. Also in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Oh, I'm that one game's so good. Well. That it's, game's it's a so trophy good. where you have to kill somebody with a falling building. <laughs> Fucking hell. God, that's made me so angry. I set C4 <laughs> all across the building. I just wait for a guy to walk in, and then my teammate kills him. It's like fuck. <laughs> now I gotta find another building. Just wait for it. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up before. Yeah, they added like, destruction back up, then. Like, oh. not to mention it's slow as hell. So even if you do blow it up, the other guy has time to get out. He's like if watching he's, for if 10 he has minutes. Any like game sense at all? It's like, oh shit. So what's going on what's, here? What's this? Everything's <laughs> falling apart. Maybe I should get out. <laughs> it's like fuck. Yeah. That's crazy. But what yeah. are you, Justin? God of War 3. God of War oh, yeah, God of War yeah, yeah. Sorry, fuck. Yeah, right here. Ask me, ask me. <laughs> Alright, what were you? Alright, it is. I have beaten the Halo 3 campaign on Legendary Difficulty. Ooh. So, yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't think I've ever platinum or 100% of a game. Like, Can you still get platinum if you play, like, co-op? Halo 3? Yeah, it's a different... It's a, one's for solo, one's for co-op. Oh, those yeah, two different, different achievements. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, that was, like... I'm just taking it. I was, like, a kid, right? And I'm just, like... I want to get Legendary. I was, yeah. like... For, like, weeks at a time, I'd be playing Halo every single day because. Legendary is impossible, man. The grunts will like slap you with their needler. It's crazy, and like you just get destroyed. Oh, yeah. You just Scotty's get pummeled. Plasma pistol. Yeah, no, I'm just remembering like I had to actually like learn like how to like combo elite. So you gotta use a plasma pistol, build it up, mm-hmm. shoot them, and then pop them in the head. You know, like there's yeah. actual like playing on normal. You can just like you can punch whatever, people to death. Yeah. Like you can run around and do shit. You're, like veteran, you like invincible. you like hone your skills, and like that's what makes you really good at the game. Mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy. It's a totally yeah. different experience. But yeah, that's true. That's that. That's what difficulty does. So yeah, a uh, great question by uh, question. Platinum discussion. Grade. Yeah, that's at the Platinum G R A one. They have their own podcast where they talk about hunting platinum trophies. Oh yeah. So wow. yeah, if you're ever interested in that, oh. check them out. Very nice. Yeah. So uh, here's another tweet from Asud underscore. This is actually my brother. Oh, he nice. tweeted nice. in. Nice. He, he tweeted in. Oh. Yeah, he's a fan. He's a fan. He uh, does some writing for us too on our website. Very oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Acornhead.net guys. If we didn't plug it yet. Oh yeah, we already plugged it multiple times, but let's keep plugging it. Did we? Oh, the previous Way one. Yeah. Yeah. Pornhub sponsor us. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is your favorite video game of all time and why you cannot pick more than one? Starting off with David again. Favorite game of all time? You can only pick one. I can only pick one. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very tough question. Yeah, he, he said he, he tried um, to make Can we get the crickets in the chat for everyone to think? What crickets? No, because I feel like we're all gonna. I feel we're all gonna think like. Oh yeah, I'll cut shit off. We're all thinking. Oh no, I have, I have mine. Oh, actually, Michael, then you start. Go, go ahead. Okay. Well, speaking. This is. I know Michael's all right. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) This is this is a game near and dear to my heart. I just pre-ordered it actually this weekend. And actually, surprisingly, it is being remastered and actually coming out very soon. Spooky vibes. Spooky vibs. The game is called. Luigi's Mansion (laughs) Three. The game What's is, the game? The game is called Medieval, Medieval for the PlayStation 1. Classic. It is a gothic horror action adventure game uh, where you Man, play as... lots of genres in that. <laughs> it is an action adventure game where you play as Sir Daniel Fortescue, a, a, a soldier from a war that he fought in and died. But he ended up 
okay, well, I, I don't want to go into the story, but he he he's a great character. The game's fun. He's a skeleton. Very, he's a skeleton. That's yes, the best he's a skeleton. Yeah, yes, he's a skeleton. skeleton with one eye, and it's important to the story. Uh, yeah, it's it's just it it just it when you think of games that that's the game that pops in my head because it's like one of the first games I ever played. You know, it just has that lasting memory. Has that when meaning see, to you? Yeah. When I see when I ever I, I see a screenshot of the game, like I see, I look at it and like, wow. It's definitely like top ten good. best PS4 games. Is that good? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, it's underrated. Like mo- think, most so. underrated PS4 game by far. I don't want to go too into it because I'll I'll talk way too long. <laughs> but uh, well, but in yeah. a in a month, next podcast, whenever we do it. Mm-hmm. Medieval will probably be out. You guys yep. both probably would have beat it, and we could talk about that. And then I, I, I hope so. Yeah. I yeah. still haven't beaten that game yet. Yeah, I know. You've been, been you've been trying years, forever. Years. Hopefully yeah. this week I'll I'll try to beat it. Yeah, amazing yeah. game. Definitely holds up. I mean, obviously it's dated PS1 graphics, but yeah. it has a charm, and oh. that's that's the biggest part of it. Not that is my favorite game of all time. Absolutely. No, I feel that. Yeah. Nostalgia is a big, big part. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. It has a major influence. Yeah. Either of you guys have uh, something coming up? Uh, any ideas? Um, um, I'll I'll like maybe, Justin go first. Maybe for me, uh, uh, just picking up on that nostalgia word, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Uh, anime series and game, uh, very dear to my heart. Uh, Which one? Uh, well, the Budokai 3. Uh, PS2? This is my favorite. Yes. Uh, I can tell you why. It has all the Super Saiyans in it. Uh, that's very a must uh, for me. You know, I like to see all the characters all at once. I think what, what's like a, a Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan. Uh, when Goku slash Vegeta, they get angry or whatever. They want to power up. You know, you want to go to that next level. You want to evolve <laughs> like the Pokemon you are. You go to Super Saiyan. <laughs> Super Saiyan. You're, uh, you're in battle. You know, you're... You're blasting key, key blast, uh, throwing Kamehameha, spirit bombs, whatever the shit. And you feel like a fucking beast. And that is a Super Saiyan. Okay, I have one more yeah. question for you. So if, if, if Goku, like, had a Pokemon, what would the Pokemon's name be? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if what Goku had a Pokemon, po- like, if you were in Pokemon, and there was like a it Pokemon be- that resembled Goku, what would it be called? It would be Poku. <laughs> Poku? <laughs> <laughs> Goku and Poku. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, you uh, have yours yet? All right, after a long thinking, I think it's a game that you just beat recently. Article coming out soon. I oh believe. yes, yes, it's already done. Just needs to be edited. I think it's not Metal Gear Solid One on PS One. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Just nostalgic. Everything about that game is just amazing. You know, I thought it was gonna be Time Spurs, but like. Nah, I like MGS more. MGS, Metal yeah. Gear Solid. So, yeah. well, so you said nostalgia, but like, when's the last time you played it? Like recently or a long time ago? Uh, a couple summers ago, like less than five years ago. Oh, so you played least. it recently. So yeah. what? So it still holds up, I assume? Yeah, 100%. I played the GameCube version though, so like, not the PS1. So why why is it? Why do you think it aged so well? Because usually when uh, you go back and play a game from your childhood, it doesn't like feel as nice after, you know? Do like, you know what I mean? For the most part, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially, games on, medieval. Yeah, especially games on like PS1 where like that stuff isn't like... Like super outdated in terms of games. Yeah, I don't know why that game feels like feels good in terms of gameplay. I, I, don't I feel I feel like the big part of it is just the character interaction. Like yeah, the, the what's the the codex? Is it codex? Codex, yeah, yeah, the codex. The codex calls with all the characters. I think that's the best part of the game, honestly. Yeah, like focuses a lot on like, like narrative and interaction like rather narrative than interaction yeah. characters, all the things you can do. Not to mention, like, you'll be stuck at a place, you just call everybody on your list and see what they have to say. Yeah, yeah, I do that yeah. all the time, man. It's, it's yeah. awesome. It's, I think that's, like, my favorite part of when I, when I played through the game, at least. I think yeah. if there's one game to define, like, my house, it would be that game. Because all my brothers played that game, so I, I would assume, like... Like, your household. Yeah. yeah. That and Smash, so, like, I would, like, pick Metal Gear. Oh, damn. Those are sure. the two games closest to your heart, then. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. That's a good choice, good choice. All right, Yusuf, what all is right, your uh, favorite game of all time? So, uh, can anyone guess? I feel like maybe you might. I, I think I know what it is. What is it? Halo. Halo. Which one? Halo 2. 2. 2? Two? 2. Two's my least favorite Halo. Oh, no, 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 Halo, no, no, Halo 1. Reach. Halo 1. Reach. Wait, what do you reach? No, what are you say? Say, I was going to say Reach. That's Reach. Yeah, it's, uh, as a story on its own, I think Reach is my favorite. But, yeah. like, game wise, like, I, it's tough. It's a toss up between Halo 1 and 3, I think. 
because so this is like different parts of my life so halo one is kind of just like i remember when i'm like absolute child you know yeah i played on pc actually i didn't have an xbox way back then you played on pc my, the first time i played halo was on pc not on xbox really yeah back in the day yeah you had a powerful pc for that? no i played at my cousin's house we had the demo oh. and i played that that one level you guys know what level i'm talking about right no no nope. oh come on the one that's on an island a lot of people call it like the greatest video game level of all time like jeez oh, the island the island the island that's not called, all the mission's called uh, Truth and Re uh, Reconciliation. Uh, it's like the whole map is just, it's kind of like an open world. So you're on an island and it's not linear like most of Halo, most first. It's like that one mission where you can go around doing anything you want in any order. You can go around the island in one way, go the other way, go right through the middle. Okay. It, it leaves you with anything. And so the reason why I think I like this game so much is, is actually similar to i think david is just like the ai is so good like the character interactions are so good in halo yeah but in yeah. a way where like you don't actually like master chief doesn't really talk when you play the game like there are not many cutscenes either it's a lot of playing well, I, I thought he wasn't in original no i'm talking about halo one. Oh, halo one okay. yes sir yeah this is halo one so when you're on this island like like you you don't talk but your marines will talk they'll talk to you like they'll like get excited when they kill something when they kill an elite they'll like spray it its head after it dies like they felt like real people they didn't feel like just like marines you know what i mean got a little Not personality some, to the yeah they, they had a lot of personality like when yep. you when you'd like get in your jeep they'd like jump in if you go over a jump they'd be like hoorah you know like, they get hyped when you go over a jump like for a game that came out in 2001 having like i don't see that game personality in games like that like even like today it's crazy <laughs> and uh sims it's a pretty good game too Sims, yeah, Sims. Oh yeah, is Sims good. is a good game. Enjoyable yeah. game, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just feel like the AI in Halo is just like unmatched. Even like today, I don't think anything comes close. Like it's crazy. Like Halo One, like. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just the nostalgia glasses, but I've played it like, by like five or six times in the last five years. Like I beat it like, almost every year. I beat it again. Really? Yeah. yeah it's such a good game. Yeah, it it nice. definitely left an impact on the industry, not, on the industry as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the first real like console fps game yeah it yeah. definitely put xbox yeah. on the map at least oh yeah carried that console yeah, yeah. but yeah that, that's why that's my favorite game so yeah that's from a a s no a s s u d underscore on twitter so yeah all right thank you yeah thanks for the tweet and no, thanks, man. yeah feel free to tweet out at us in the future uh, at acornhead g yep all right so next segment or any other questions or any other uh before we move on to the news articles, I just want to say, guys, this is yeah. our first podcast. We're we're doing great. Oh, yeah, I think one one yeah. hour, one yeah. hour. Is it one hour? One yeah. hour, over an oh, hour, nice. guys. Oh, amazing! Damn, we'll buy yeah. quick clap, little clap. Uh, it's a lot easier when there's more than two people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, way easier. Right? Yeah, like you don't have to talk the whole time. Easier. Like my throat's not that sore. No, it's good. So yeah, uh, would you you had an article pulled up, didn't you? Do you uh, want to talk about that or I no? I did. What was it about? I forgot. It sounded well, kind of interesting. Well, what turtle. Was I don't. Oh, know. I, I was talking about actual. turtles. Oh yeah, something turtles. Yeah, turtles yeah. The no, this. Uh, oh yeah. Wait, what does that do with video games? Little turtle, <laughs> this poor little turtle had a uh, 104 pieces of plastic in his belly. This is why he passed away. And uh, we were also talking about bamboo chopsticks and straws. That needs to happen. Mm -hmm. It's gonna. And, it's gonna happen. Yeah, but uh, honestly, this world is going to shit with the amount of uh, pollution, all these people, and. Uh, yeah, we're on Hong Kong side. Stand up against China. Yes. Yup. <laughs> Fight censorship. Yeah. I don't even Fuck know LeBron what's going on. Fuck LeBron James. Fuck Blizzard. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. They uh, actually, they actually uh, reverted it. I think they gave him the prize money. Yeah, they did. They, yeah, but, like, they reduced even, his band to six months instead yeah, of 12. Yeah, but even still. That, that, yeah. yeah, that's pretty stupid. Like, the, the, yeah. Their did initial... You, the yeah. initial action was to do something like that. Did you see the post they did on the Chinese social media app? No, I never saw that. It was like, they said, uh, we'll do anything at, in our power to uh, maintain the dignity of this nation. Like, talking about China. Like, that's fucking, that's fucked up. Yikes. Like, take I, that, I didn't that's hear about that. That's pretty crazy. That's crazy to me. But yeah, whatever. Uh, Ch Chinese are censoring us here in America, or Canada, actually. Yeah, but okay. Sorry, yeah, this is a different article. Actually, I don't want to talk about that today, because that's... Uh, that's not really resolved yet, you know, like that whole situation. Yeah, still, I don't want to get still, into it. It's still going on right now. I think now. it's still in development. BlizzCon hasn't hit yet. We'll see how it turns out there. Wait, when is that? Uh, the next month, I think. Next, oh, next month? month? Yeah, I think it's next month. It's around the corner. They canceled actually uh, an Overwatch event today at the Nintendo store. Because of what? Because oh. of the outrage. Oh, really? They, they don't want any more bad press, so they canceled the event. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that, actually. Yeah. 
they need to cool down for a bit. Yeah, they just need to go ghost and like make sure everyone forgets it, but people don't forget. I don't like think. the mobile phones incident? Remember that? Well, oh, they, yeah. They might not forget, but they're definitely going to move on to something else. Yeah, the something else to rage at. Yeah. yeah. The, the problem with outrage culture. Yeah, and guess what, uh, guys? This uh, actually has a lot to do with my next article. Which so is? E3 2020 has some changes uh, coming along. So uh, this is from GameDaily.biz. They got wait, a, wait, wait, wait. Does, does Pornhub have a booth there? Uh, they may actually oh, now. Okay, they nice, might nice. now. You'd be surprised, actually, <laughs> reading, after reading this article. <laughs> so GameDaily.biz got a, their hands on a leaked PowerPoint presentation. That yeah, was I heard about this. Yeah, no. yeah. It's, uh, I, I have not heard Well, this. you're about to be uh, pretty sad, I think. Oh, yikes. A lot of people That's not what I want to hear. Not bad. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what everybody thinks. Uh, yeah, we'll see what pe- you guys think. But uh, love opinions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was from an ESA presentation, which is like the board that runs uh, E3, and they were giving it out to some publishers, like big, like Sony, Microsoft, you know, EA, and stuff like that. And there are some big changes coming, and I'm a bit worried. I think. Uh, I think we all should maybe, maybe I'm overreacting. But here's a quote from the slideshow: We're planning to pivot to an event focused on core gamers, online influencers, celebrities, and media. A lot of uh, YouTubers. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking. This event's turning less into like you know Nothing showing off your about, game, yeah. learning about it, trailers, and more about like a uh, more Fortnite type press, yeah, ninja. You know, press. a lot of press. Yeah, but like not good, not like games press, just like general yeah, press. You know, games, like yeah. yeah. So uh, exhibitors can create exclusive appointment only activations for select attendees who will create buzz and FOMO. <laughs> so that was in the PowerPoint. <laughs> so it's pretty. But that was FOMO. A feeling fear, of fear, missing out. Yeah, fear or, of missing oh, out. fear of missing yeah. out. Sorry. Hell? So yeah, you know when everyone's like playing a game, right? Yeah. yeah You're like, yeah. oh, I need to get that game. It's like FOMO. Like you don't want to miss out. You know? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, every year when people buy COD, it's because like they have FOMO. Yeah, you know? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, Michael, yeah. Michael gets FOMO yeah, for yeah, COD every year. Like, shit, I gotta get caught. <laughs> I can't miss it this year. Yeah. And you said every single year for 10 years. I know. That's FOMO. So here's another quote there is going on. Uh, an example of a sample activation is leading actors competing in video games tournaments um, and the winner of tournaments donating to a charity of their cause. So they're going to play off, you know, kind of the goodwill, you know. And so they're trying to leverage celebrities' uh, commitment to foundations and their cause and later say they're trying to, like, use this to book celebrities for free. So instead of paying these celebrities, they're going to be like, you know, here's Just a winning. Come, give come, it to, come yeah. for your press. Yeah, come good for free, good cause. Like, yeah. Exactly. Which is like... Uh, maybe it'll work. I don't think celebrities would do that, especially like the I feel like all the press, just like the low end ones, you know. Yeah, low yeah, ends. Yeah. Like, I feel like know. all the press, anyways, goes towards like the actual game trailers. Yeah, but not. No, we're talking celebrities. Like, celebrities. We're talking like like Keanu Reeves type celebrities. Like in games, though. No, we're talking like just showing up and like playing in video games tournaments oh, okay. and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Don't they have that though? Like yeah, but like a lot more. They're trying to pivot to be all that. Like pretty oh, much. Okay. Like, they're moving away. They're moving farther away from games. Yeah, more towards like making it an event. Oh, okay. You watch actors play video games. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's still there, but you know, it's not the focus. And, yeah. Here's the gritty part. Hearing. This is the dirty part that uh, kind of hurts me. Research shows that Gen Z and millennial, millennials are most giving back generation. By amplifying E3's social good brand, we can advance the industry's brand with consumers while storing positive chits for future use. So what that means pretty much is like... The fuck does that mean? Yeah, because pretty much what they're saying is like, if we show some good stuff here, yeah. when the next Blizzard outrage happens where they like support China, we can like, they can look back at this and be like, oh, video game industry isn't so bad. So what they're trying to do is store up these chits, they call it, where they're in future, they're like, uh, use it pretty much. You yeah. know what I mean? They're like trying to make themselves look good. So when a new, like a bad news article comes out, they can kind of like yeah, swallow it. Good, yeah. Always against, a lot of goodwill. Always against games. <laughs> yeah. So the, in this PowerPoint, they're talking about like building goodwill. When like a future microtransaction like problem comes out, really? Yeah, okay. in the slide so, slideshow it said that. That's, really? That's crazy. So like yeah. they're thinking like, yeah, we gotta get some goodwill so we can like fuck up later and like people won't be angry. Like, that's fucked up. Yes. I think. Like it came out in the slideshow. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I they had the whole twenty four slideshow. Like I just I you looked through. It? I went through the whole thing. It was crazy. Yeah. But that could be extra big brain. But what, what does that have to do with <laughs> that like, could like be a big uh, brain play? Like these like companies like Microsoft like announcing these games and stuff. So there's gonna be I, that, that's what I look at when I look at E3. It's yeah, just so, like a press conference. Yeah, so they're moving away from making it like you know a big press event. They have one. They're gonna have one press day, and then it's not even gonna be just press. It's gonna be press, yep. influencers, actors, and celebrities. So. But I heard there's I heard there's still a day just for press. Though. Yeah, yeah, but there it's not okay. just press. It's press and celebrities press and, and celebrities. influencers and all these other guys, right? So well, it's not just a press day. Comes press always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, I don't see that having an impact on like the actual like announcement. It so. might not. It might not. Honestly, yeah. it might not. Maybe. I just, 
But yeah. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Yeah. So when I watch E3 videos, I just watch like the trailers. I actually don't like watch people on the show floor. Yeah, me neither. I, I'm just saying if I were to go there, like it won't be as yeah. good anymore. Yeah, it you know wouldn't be I mean? as good. Yeah. Yeah. One other thing that I added is something called Qtainment. They're calling it uh, enabling marketers to market to attendees in lines. So now when you know how you line up for like 12 hours, you yeah. get all those stories online. You play one game all day. So they're trying to add Qtainment where pretty much like you'll get advertised to in line. They're trying to add that, which is crazy. No, like, I heard like also like you take like pictures with like celebrities and stuff. In, in line. line, yeah, maybe, I don't see that. It, like, it, it could not be thing. as bad. Yeah, it could not be as bad as I'm kind of stating it. I try to make it look bad. <laughs> Honestly, I'm hearing a lot of FOMO. What do you mean FOMO? FOMO. 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 Yeah. FOMO. FOMO. yeah. Fear of missing out. Oh, from yeah, everything. They're, yeah, they're trying to like you know make everything yeah. FOMO. And yeah. like even this advertising while you're in lines, you know, like yeah, they're trying to get you like hyped. That idea, like of, I think that's okay. Cause well, like, yeah, when, when no, like, it's like, okay, like, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Like, I yeah. hear a lot of FOMO on that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, I mean, it's, I don't think it's the death of E3, but this could be like, it's a pretty big it's a the, stepping stone. I mean, I, I think Sony leaving E3 the was a big stepping stone. Going. Yeah, that was the biggest stepping stone. Yeah, but now E3 is pivoting and being like, okay, if Sony's not coming, we're not really that type of event anymore. Let's yeah. just make it more like you know, I don't know, Fan Expo or like PAX. Let's make it more yeah. about like. The people there that they're trying to pivot in that direction more about yeah. the uh, like the consumers the than the games than like yeah the games exactly yeah but the press conferences are still like huge though yeah but <laughs> well, I mean they're dying off like even yeah. like Sony's got their state of play now and Nintendo they're just gonna have their but direct. Nintendo's always there yeah that's right well, so is Microsoft I mean and maybe maybe this maybe is Sony's just back. like an off off year for Sony it could be they didn't maybe. have much to show right yeah so actually that would make sense right hopefully hopefully they come back the expectations were so high yeah right and they they couldn't live up to it this year yeah I, I feel like so many like like non gamers know about E three is that. That's why like they feel pressure to like like release so many big games. Yeah. And then now it's like big announcements, you know? Yeah. 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 You're right. Because if you don't have those big announcements, then you get like the negative press. Like, oh, Sony had a like a bad conference. Yeah. You know the, I mean? the news was they're not even coming. But like realistically, like you can't pump out so many games every year, right? Yeah. To please everybody. That's true. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But I mean, they could have like like showed off any games and stuff. That would have been cool. Like at yeah, least but, having no, like that indie... would have been a disappointment though. Yeah, think? but at least at least give the press to some of these like smaller like developers, even though you know something. Sony's that not show. Sony's not a nice company. <laughs> They're not a very <laughs> generous company. I don't think. That's just my impression of well, it. Wait, so what you're saying is I mean, no big company. Really so all this is, yeah, is going to really right. make you feel like you're at E3. Yeah, that's oh. what they're trying to do. They're trying to make you feel <laughs> like you're at E3. Yeah, that was my news article for today. Yes. Uh, what about you, Justin? Do you have any opinions on this? Do you watch E3? Uh, no, not really E3 guy. Just about like just just the trailers, trailers anything that looks intriguing to me. Fair, fair. Yeah, yeah. it's like check some so highlights like, out. I'm one of those. A- I'm one of those average gamers. You know, I'm not. I'm not really into the press or you know. That's okay. I'm researching these articles like you guys, but I, I like. I do like the discussion. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I do like finding out about these things. Definitely, well. definitely. Average. Yeah, you're learning a lot, man. Yeah, we. I am learning a lot. That's good. I'm learning a lot from this. Uh, this podcast. Definitely average. Us smash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> definitely an average gamer <laughs> oh man you're killing him didn't he beat you like five times in a row or something tell him no I don't remember that actually I, well, maybe I'm imagining it so, yeah. Well, yeah E3 will uh, might still be good I think right it could be, yeah, it could I, be. I'm still sure it'll be fine yeah. it'll be good but... it's our final decision I think it's okay locked in yeah we're good so uh, don't worry guys uh, E3 is gonna All right, be guys, good yeah, next breaking year news, breaking news guys breaking news my Switch has been located. <laughs> I have located Amazing. my Switch, guys. Where is it's, it? It's all good. It's all good. I can beat Justin on Smash every day. Now. Where was it? It was nice. at my ass. <laughs> yeah, you fucking got looking at it for days. It was <laughs> at his ass all the time. I finally found it, guys. Breaking news here, right here on the podcast. Um, good job, David. Nice. I'm excited now. Justin, <laughs> sh- Justin shouldn't be, but I'm excited. I can't wait to, like, <laughs> like have a, a video of us playing. Yeah, we should have lied <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah, we, we got a capture card now, Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a capture card, guys. Nice. Oh, oh, lots, of, lots of new opportunities. Shout out to uh, Santino this, Tang this on uh, YouTube. This podcast is just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, he's on t- Mixer or Twitch? What is he on? I think he's on YouTube. Just YouTube. Yeah, he's on YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah you can find him. And DT7CR7. Search it out on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's Dylan. Or he's trying to be like a secret name. Did I expose him? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. DT? DT. DT. All right, uh, I guess we're wrapping up. That's all we got to talk about today. Yeah, thank yep. you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks for, guys for tuning listening. in. Uh, anyone want to give a shout-out to anything they want to shout-out? This is yeah, the time to, to shout-out anything you want. Uh, Porno, please sponsor us. Thank you. All yeah, right. Porno, please sponsor us. Yep. Uh, uh, play Dark Souls. Uh, Ooh. Just skip Dark Souls. That's my shout-out. Yusuf versus Michael Hell in a Cell. Next podcast. I'll slap him in WWE for real. Ooh. I'm actually, I play too much. If you think so. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, guys, so just check us out on Twitter at acornheadg, and our website is acornhead.net if you want more of our content. So enjoy. Have a great day. Yep.
Peace, Peace out. Easy. Peace.